In previous videos we've looked at creating forms, so now let's look at how to add fields to a form, because often we'll create a form and once we actually start working with it, we'll realize that we need to add or delete fields um, to the form that we created. So I have the tours entry form pulled up in my database and I'm going to click on the design tab in the ribbon once I am on layout view. Notice how I did not have that design tab until I switched my view over to layout view. So if you're watching this video after um, you've completed the previous one, you might already be in layout view. If not, you will need to switch to layout view and then you will see the design tab. And you'll want to make sure for this that add existing fields is selected. I can tell that it's selected because it is highlighted for me and on the right side of my screen, I do have my field list showing, which you can see here. And the field list displays our fields in three different areas. The top one has fields that are being used currently by the form. The middle section shows us fields that are directly related to the tables that were being used. And the lower section shows any other tables that are in the database. And we see the expand or collapse button um, to the left of each of the table. So if I wanted to, I could expand all of these to view all the different fields in each of those tables. But I'm not going to do that because it becomes a rather long list and I don't want to have to look for you know through all of those but what I will do is I'm gonna click the expand button to the left of the tour categories table and you can see here that the tour categories has two fields that are available for me to add to my current form and adding to what I have is as simple as simply dragging it over so I'm going to drag the description field to my form and I want to add it right below the price level. So I'm going to click here to select it and then I'm just going to drag it over and you can see that it didn't stay below price because I didn't get my mouse in just the right spot but that's okay because I can pick it up and I can just drag it right down. And I think I did a pretty nice job of aligning it nicely with the um, fields that are already there. But we're going to get it perfect to make sure that everything looks good when we look for, um, for it in any views. So what I would like to do now is I want to make sure that I get everything lined up nicely. So I want to right click on the tours entry form tab and I'm going to switch my view to design view because design view is going to help me get things aligned nicely because I have this nice grid to work with. So once I've switched over to design view I'm going to click on that description label and I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and while I'm holding down shift I'm actually going to also click on price and now you can see that they're both selected and I let go of the shift button and I'm going to look up in my arrange tab in my foreign design tools and I'm going to look over in sizing and ordering because what I would like to do is I would like to click on align and I would like to align both of those labels to the left. And you can see in mine it didn't move a whole lot and that is because I did an okay job of you know just aligning them by looking at them. But you don't have to because once I tell them to align to the left they're going to snap right there and be perfect. But the next thing I want to do is I want to resize my labels because these don't look so great. So I'm simply, I'm going to select both of these again by holding down the shift key because I accidentally clicked off of them. And I want to now click on the size and space button. And I'm going to tell it to um, size automatically to the widest. And let's see what happens when I click to widest. So you can see that since price is um, 
wider than category. Category moved over so that it is now aligned with the text area for price, which is exactly what I wanted. So now I can click on the Home tab because I'm done formatting what I added. And I'm going to click View and I'm going to switch back to my Form View. And from that Form View, I am going to click on New Record, which is down here at the bottom of my Access window. That gives me a brand new record that doesn't have anything in it. And from here, I can add a new record to my database. So I'm going to click down in Tour Name, and I'm going to type in the information from this record.